Lee Smith. Uh, tell us about your buggy and what your strategy is for today. Uh, yes, sir. My buggy is Warfare. We are running a Steve Schmidt Race Engine 440 cubic inch small block, a PTC built turbo 350 with a SES 10 inch straight drive, uh, 14 bolt axles front and rear. We're running 14 gears in the axles, 2 inch 47 flying RTV shafts, 40 flying uh, 300M RTVs in the rear. We're running a set of 16 inch emulsion 2.0 Fox pullovers. So the triple bypasses are also 2.016 inch pots. Uh, special set of Scott Dirt Ford stickies on race lines. And uh, all PSE steering. She's, she's ready for a meet now. Southern Rock Racing Series post race show is brought to you by PSC Steering Components. everybody to the Southern Rock Racing post race show for Wind Rock presented by Raceline Wheels. I'm Denny Downs with Rock Rigs TV and I'm Clyde Bynum with Southern Rock Racing. First we want to give a huge thanks out to Brent for letting us come out to Wind Rock. Uh, we had a good time out there. Yes we did. We had 26 drivers for the side by class on Friday. Why don't you give us a rundown on how that worked? We put together a course. Uh, we've been trying to make the courses this year a lot longer. We put together a course that was probably a couple of minutes long. It kept these drivers on their toes with a couple off camera turns, stuff like that. Uh, at the end of the day, we had Danny Smith with the fastest time of a 38.330. Oh, Landon Jones with a time of 38.570. And Brandon Davis with a time of 39.099. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, in the side by side series points, where are we standing there? Well, we got Brandon Davis in first place uh, with 227 points. Danny Smith. Making some gain and grounds on that deal with mm -hmm. second place at 205 points and Jason Sparks with 151 points in third place. We will be right back with the Southern Rock Racing for Series post race show. We got Mr. Mr. Kirby. Mr. Mike Kirby, third place. Mr. Kirby, third place. YouTube's. Welcome back everybody to the Southern Rock Racing Post Race Show. We had 35 bouncers running at Wind Rock and uh, how'd that go? Well, it, w it was a lot of crazy action, I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, for the first hill, we usually try to keep it a lot simpler. We, make, we try to make sure all the drivers can finish the first hill, but we cut a new first hill. Uh, it was a lot of fun. They still had to drive. They still had to make some clearances between the trees. Uh, but it kept them on their toes. The second hill, uh, it was real similar to the second hill we ran last year at this park, but we made some good changes that made them had to drive at the top, and that's where a lot of the action happened. Uh, there was lots of rollovers and uh, pretty good bit of crashes, and I don't even remember how many made, but but it uh, it got pretty interesting. Uh, for the end of the day, Tim Cameron took the win again on the first hill. He had 12.114, earning 46 points. Second hill, 18.209 with 43 points, giving him a total of 89 points. That was basically second place on the first hill and third place on the second hill, but it was enough to put him in first for the points for the day. Uh, Adam Ringer in Showgirl, he put on a good good show this weekend. He, he ran a 14, 344 on the first hill with 35 points, but he really stepped up on the second hill with a 15.843, earning the fastest time at 50 points, a total of 85 points. If you would have seen the second hill in person, you would probably be amazed that he was able to accomplish that in 15.8 seconds. It was I was crazy. there. It was, it was, it was, it, it uh, was wild. It was, it was, I was impressed. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, Mike Kirby, 
He put down a 12.375 on the first hill, giving him 42 points, and a 20.273 on the second hill, giving him 39 points with a total of 81. So that was your top three for the day. Now, what about the series points? Where are we at, where are we at there? Uh, that puts Tim Cameron at first place deal with 446 points, Ethan Spiegel in second with 394 points, and Bobby Tanner in third at 357 points. We will be right back with the Southern Rock Racing Series post-race show. The time is 15.34 on the second hill. We got Adam Ringer for the Adam. Welcome back to the Post Race Show. We got a special guest in the studio today. I'm Craig Reichwald with RCV Performance. I'd like to say thanks to Southern Rock Racing for affording us the opportunity to be uh, the RCV Best of Show. Tell me, tell me, what is it that brought you to the Southern Rock Racing Series to be a sponsor? Well, RCV makes a uh, product from mild to wild, and the Rock Bouncers, of course, being the wild. So if you're interested in an axle, and you see the wild guys punishing it, you can actually you know, see, well, this will work for me. Uh, we make products for Dana 44, Dana 60, Jeep, Toyota, side-by-side, -side, Rockwell. So we have a full product line for whatever you need. And it is a fantastic product line, I will tell you that. Thank you, sir. RCV is actually the sponsor for the Southern Rock Racing Best of Show. And what that does, is it gives these guys that don't care about the timers they don't care about any of that stuff they like to go out here and drive hard put on a show richie keys he's one of those guys he loves to just put on a show i'm sure he likes to win but he he loves to go out and, and beat on his rig and put on a show bobby tanner loves to put on a show so rcv had a great idea this year to do a best of show points chase just like the guys that like to just race and the way that works is after each race even if you're not there, you can go out and watch these events on uh, YouTube. Go to the website, you vote at southernrockracing.com slash show, and those votes turn into an order. At the end of the voting season, you get to vote. The guy with the most, vo most votes gets 50 points. The next one, 46 points, 43 points, 42 points, and so on, just like the point trace. Ooh, great. They get so, a fancy trophy, too. And they're going to get a fancy trophy <laughs> at the end of the year. RCV uh, has a real nice-looking trophy. Yeah. yeah. And make, so make sure y'all catch all the videos from Mad Ram, Busted Knuckle, and Rock Riggs TV all year long so you can stay updated. Make sure you put the right vote in. These guys need your votes. You only get one vote, so uh, yeah. make it count. We also want to give RCV a huge thanks for being the sponsor for the recovery crew. These guys work hard at every event, making sure the drivers are safe, making sure we get these rigs back off the trail. So big thanks for, for that RCV recovery crew too. I want to thank everybody involved with that, along with all the competitors that come out and race at all the, these events. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, we have a few guys that, that do it every event. Uh, a guy named BJ Wilkes, he's there with me from Wednesday night until the event's over. Uh, a, lot of the, a lot of stuff goes on behind the scenes before race day. And uh, there's a couple of guys, BJ and his dad are, are two big guys that helped me a lot prepping. Um, Without them, it'd be tough for us to get it done. So thanks for right making on. that part happen. That is true. Y'all make sure y'all don't miss the next race. It's going to be a rush off-road September 4th and 5th. It will be the sixth race presented by National Tire and Wheel. It'll be a great show. Rush mm -hmm. is always a big time. It uh, is. For more information, go to southernrockracing.com. If you have any questions or some ideas that you want to see on the show, shoot us an email, info at southernrockracing.com as well. 12.114 on the first hill and 18.209 on the second hill. Mr. Cameron. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. 
What's all this money going on about? We just saw some money out there. What do you need? Maybe it's a goal for me. The Southern Rock Racing Series post-race show is brought to you by PSC Steering Components. This has been a Rock Riggs production. Rock Riggs is a copyrighted production.